Hey everybody, it's Steve from We Just Play Games. This is the Other Worlds. We're playing as good guys, Steven with a V, joined with Drunky McDrunkerton here. She is so drunk. And Sam, the cleaning bot. Today we're going to take on two different factions that are kind of at odds with each other. Taking up the airways with their noise pollution. We, we got to get them to, you know, shut up so we can get a special message from a special someone. I have no idea who they are though. So as the good guy, I'm going to go see someone named, uh, not Sanjar, Graham. Leader of the Iconoclasts, a cult that has been formed here. I think under the um, religion of philosophism, which rejects all science. Apparently, I don't. I don't have the ins and outs of it, but we're, we're going to get them to shut up and stop polluting the airwaves. With plenty of action along the way, right, Sam? You spray them with acid. Oh, jeez, that's a dead body. I brought Sam along because I still want to see his limited fresh attack. I, I, I've seen uh, a beat music. <laughs> I've seen Nyoka's. It's she just like knocks back a shot and, <laughs> and goes haywire on the on their asses. But he has some sort of limited fresh attack. I want to see. That wasn't uh, that wasn't much of a journey. So as the good guy, obviously, we're going to try to reason with this person, because as the bad guy, as, as Steven with a PH, I've kind of already been here to send a guy back to his mother under the threat of having murdered her if she didn't go back, if he didn't go back to his mommy. He was a 42-year-old man with a very overbearing mother. Anyway, he ran away to join this cult and uh, didn't work out too well because I made him go back. Because I threatened to kill his mommy, because I was a bad guy back then, but I'm a good guy right now. And of course, being a good guy, I'm going to be treating this with some, you know, diplomacy. This is Rose. She forgot to, you know, print out more pamphlets. You'll see what I mean in a second. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. I said it before and I'll say it again. You had one job, Rose. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. That hat is a shackle. And it's gonna become a problem if you make me wear one. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. The flesh-eating monsters You're are just hurdles. With us, so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, you've heard Graham's teachings. I'm so glad. He and Zora have done such a wonderful job spreading the light around this dark, dark planet. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. They have even stupider hats. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Is there a feign interest button? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Right, Tucker. The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay, maybe we'll talk to Tucker too. Get that out of the way. Level analysis. Utter and total chaos. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. You're cut off, lady. Like, who dressed you, even? You, were you drunk when you did that? You hear that, Rose? Sam doesn't like the shitty way you've arranged everything. Alright. Graham or Tucker? Graham, there we go. It ain't right. How many good folk we gonna lose to our Anyway, yeah, I was trying to take this with, uh, do this with the diplomacy, but at any rate, Sam gives me a bonus to either intimidation or persuasion, so it's going to be a bit of a right. rough diplomacy check. Yeah, we felled it, mine, but we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. 
she's staring at me, but he's not. What's up, buddy? A stranger comes to our home. <gasps> I recognize you. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Last time I was crazy, like being like Crazy Keith, the, I, uh, I had to go to a more dangerous docking experience on Monarch because the first one that would be in Stellar Bay, I didn't manage to get the nav key because I murdered Gladys. Because I thought she'd have the nav, key on her, the nav key on her dead body, but that didn't work out. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? I can get behind the murdering all the bad stuff on this planet, but not really behind needing to, you know, medical everyone. Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I thought the board didn't like this place. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but... Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely? Literally the last person to listen was, you know, a crazy guy, and I know him. He was me. He murders a lot. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Science the hell out of them. Huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. You've got a deal. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on- Big picture, Zora. Where Goddamn. is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Wait a minute. MSI is against you guys. One of our sympathizers. Oh. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. That happens. The uh, Auntie Cleo, or no, Spacer's Choice is actually so pissed at me. They sell stuff to me for a 49% mark uh, markup. It's, it's terrible. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? I'm a good guy. I'll probably yeah, take it out of my pocket, own pocket. In triage. Yeah, we'll probably get the extra supplies. Alright, to this printing press lady, who will probably inevitably need something in return for, you know, the rollers. And I might have said this already, but as the bad guy, Steven with a PH, we'll go see this MS MSI people and help them. Turn, turn, turn. Zoom out. We gotta go here. The closest spot is probably where I already am. Yes, it is. Okay, we got some fight ahead of us. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Sam, making blood stained clean again. What a bot. Hey, Rose, Rose, gone are the days of the pamphlets. We're gonna start making magazines. Doesn't that blow your fucking mind? All right, 300 and, wow, okay. Is somebody camping outside? Do they know there's a civilization in there? Or is this just like the fish drying area? 
Those aren't fish. Those are big ass sprouts. Those are definitely not fish. Free stuff? Free stuff. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. No, oh, maybe not. Boing, 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 boing. We're good, we're good. Marauders? Marauders. Headshot Marauder! Stop moving. Ooh, big guy. Big guy means big stick. No? Okay. Light machine gun mark two. Nice. I'm not even slow right now. Not really the time for a sniper rifle. Oh, flamethrower. Not bad. Okay. I gotta remember to use Sam's uh, special attack. I don't know what corporation he served, but he probably didn't deserve a reward. Let's make myself lighter. Speed? Speed. Ooh, something breathing? Ooh, monsters. Two monsters. Wait, fire. Use fire. That's a fire. Fire. Oh, it's already. Oh, we killed them too quickly. I couldn't use Sam's thing. Pretty much just killed some stray dogs there. I would feel terrible if they weren't fucking terrifying. They don't even they don't even make the weird yelping noise that dogs usually make in video games when you hurt them. Hey there, buddy. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. I met a guy with that kind of hat before. I didn't like him very much. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Do you want to you want a couple of leaks there, bud? Cut cut the attitude. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Who are you? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Voided being a bad thing? And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? I have a large gun? Is this all my money? Alright, you gonna saw it off already? We're fixing a leaky generator. Damn it, I already knew that. What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted. Pumping out gas. It ain't safe. Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that, boss. Hope this ain't in my performance review. I'll probably get overlooked. Damn bored. So, just straight up murder him? I know just how to do it, too. That was kind of a joint attack. Nice. Oh, that was sublight. Oh, no. Did anyone see anything? Requires... Oh, shit. I don't have a badge, do I? So, sneaking it is. Quiet times, everybody. Probably not the deadliest stick I have. Let's uh, take a look here. 172. Oh, 276. Yeah, this is probably the deadliest stick I have. I think there's only one guard. Oh, that guy too, though. So he's looking away from me. Okay, now we're back to sneaking around. In the tall grass. That guy ain't moving. You don't see me, you don't see me. I am sneaking, I am sneaking. Yeah. 
How, how can they not hear their buddies screaming? They heard it. They heard it. I didn't kill a Carlotta, did I? I heard that. I heard all of that. Who's out there? Whoever you are, you're in a lot of trouble. Hello? Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you, anyway? The Sublight Eliminators. Hi there. Thanks for clearing out those goons. Please don't kill me next. Graham ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. You've seen some shit, have you? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. Not after they sent me here I to do this. Know. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I kind of want to be on Zora's good side, so... I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. I think I see a safe behind her. I'm a crack it. Do you sell me a cartridge? Sub that cartridge? No. That's some strong armor. God damn. Good supplies. I love free stuff. Oh, I'm slow. There we go. I win. I win. Fuck you guys. Alright, let's go give Graham the good news. Unit's air purity sensors are indicating a lethal level of inebriation emanating from a nearby organic source. Please. Do you think this is bad? You gotta get your senses recal- recal- You ain't seen me drunk. Oh my god, she's actually liquored up. Reminder, please dispose of all empty bottles in the appropriate waste receptacle, as outlined by Ordinance P-51 of the Board Certified Subboard of Health. I'll dispose of you in an appropriate waste receptacle if you don't stop nagging. I love our little banter. Just noticing now, Graham lives above a bar. Zora! Zora, I did the thing! What? Sorry. Long day. I ordered medical supplies and whatnot. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Just know that it's very important. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She's not. That is most unfortunate. But you get your magazines now. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. Who? Good God, y'all. What do you use again? Oh, absolutely nothing. See it again. Now we oh. must double our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham. We needed them in the ruins. Our people died out there. They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Reminder! 
prolonged exposure to germicidal fumes kills brain cells. <laughs> I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Exactly. I'm glad you see the truth of the matter, Captain. I'm sure the dead understand, right? Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I will do everything I can next time. Right now, we gotta go be bad and side with Sanjar on this one. You gonna make it there, bud? Ta. Ta ba ba ta ba. I can't read that. I'm, I'm gonna have a stroke reading that. Anyway, this is Steven with a PH, the bad guy. We're siding with Sandra on this one. We recently sided with, uh, sided with Graham on the Iconoclast, but this guy seems a little more business like. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna be a dick to him, though. Another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. That it? Okay, let's talk. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Oh god, never say moisten our loins anymore. I posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. I do? Does it involve loins? Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. I've got to start being more sarcastic. I'm so generous, I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? The universe. The universe sent me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. <laughs> yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. What can I do for you? He took that well. You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? Yes, and is I don't care. Keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. No one's listening. My, you know how to take control of a situation, don't you? It's warm in here. Is anyone else warm? Oh my god, your loins are getting moist, aren't they? What it means to say is that we'll happily oblige. But first, we need your help with the plan to get MSI restored to the board. It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Meaning... Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting with the Bolt 52, we won't need to advertise anymore. We can stop our transmissions altogether. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. I hate the board. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. My kind of party. Do 
be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out As there. As you said already. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I've got the right hands, buddy. Right for blackmail. All that the whole time, I was just holding the gun to his face. No wonder you're so lenient. Alright, 81 that way? Holy shit, that's actually pretty close. Oh, maybe that's just the exit. Oh, maybe not. So I'm going into a building that's dangerous. This guy saw someone get murdered. Blah, blah, blah. That's why he's all cowering and whatnot. This is the guy. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Okay, I thought this was the guy and his mother. Never mind. I can't move. I hate that part. There we go. Alright. Not far. Not far at all. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Ah, fuck you, Mauler. It's coming over the horizon. Thank you. You guys handle that one. This planet just got it a little easier. I'm saying that, but... Fucking Manta Queen's gonna drop on my fucking head sooner or later. Are you dizzy? What happened? Ow! Shotgun? I don't remember loading up a shotgun. Yeah, Sam's not here. He can't clean it up. Alright, we, we've seen the Raptodons. Where's all the Maulers? There, it's dead. Will you die? Before I die. There we go. What the fuck are you shooting? Oh, there's one over there. Think they left anything good behind? Hopefully. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside. Whoa! Pull! Oh. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? No, can't recreate it. Execute. Interesting. Interesting option. I need something a little quicker. That might do it. Yeah, you better run. I need to heal, but I don't have any healing items, so... I may die! For now, we run. Who the hell said that? God, I love making friends, don't you? Nyoka's dead. Knock him off the mountain, Jesus. We good? I think we're good. Where the hell are my friends? Oh, Jesus Christ, we're not good. 
You're a Colossus. How can I not fucking tell where you are? All right, sound off, people. Where the hell are you? There you are. You were knocked out. You were drunk. You are passed out. Did, am I just circling around the fucking building? Come on, get in there. We don't need no keys. Ooh, this is gonna have some blackmail on it, huh? Good stuff. Okay. Oh ho. Shit. Yeah, su sweet. Who the hell is Dora? Someone's been Someone's been grooming these people. There's no one here to see us. So yeah, I guess they will never see us. You're not wrong. I just heard someone again. Maybe not. Unless you guys are just having trouble, you know, clambering over things. Again, not bad for supplies. Where are these two factions are sending me? I really gotta start drinking more. I have so much. Huh. Hello? Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can I ask for boots? Only the clever girls. Oh, yes. Hey, Huxley. If you're lazy, I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mada Queen showed up. Then Raptodon was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? Sure thing. Rude. I'll have you know I can go for whole days without a snack. Like a bear. I'll be here if you change your mind. On account of I can't do anything else. She sounds kind of precious. Oh, hey! You want to help a girl out? Huh. Liar. This is Monarch. There ain't fresh air anywhere. You got me there. Oh, hey! You want to help a girl out? Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. I'll look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Sure. Beat's not answering questions. This is true. Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Interesting. My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping, on account of Raptodons wanting to munch on my head. Why didn't he lock himself in, too? Okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. That's been, like, every... every zombie game ever. Do it yourself, mister. Surrounded by shit either way. But they can trap you. I'm, uh, I'm, phew, sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Not all the room to flip in there either, huh? Oh, that 
it be my people, Graham and Zora and Milton, and I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I want to get back to Amber Heights. I do believe they mentioned to Huxley earlier. Get me out of here! What do you mean? It's locked. Wait, upward? Oh, my eternal soul, it worked! You must feel pretty stupid right now. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. So much for three days without food. Here. I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Oh, she's just a day's not three Still days. Landing yourself in trouble, eh, huh? <gasps> you know her. Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind give me an escort back home? I'm. Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. The one that walked you through the use of a doorknob, yeah. But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Hold on, let me just consult my banker. Hey, can I pay these loans off with appreciation and respect? No, no, right? Not legal tender. Thanks. Okay, back to you, Huxley. Hmm. Ah, shit. I wouldn't have agreed to be saved if I'd known that. All right, here. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Because one, one of your eyes is not working. Thanks a lot, mister. Alright. Bolt 32. 52, sorry. That's 20 times better than 32 I previously thought it was. Don't need a flamethrower. Egg pick. Alright. Why not? Yeah, not much to eat in here, huh? Unless you like uh, gunpowder. I think that can fuck with your head, though, eating gunpowder. Something related to amnesia. I, I, I remember it from uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. So I guess we don't need a key, and that was it for this. I'm gonna go back to Sanjar now. That was a little too easy. I was half expecting that Mantis Queen she was talking about to show up. All right, wipe terminals. Because I can't think of any downside to not wiping them. Or to wiping them. <laughs> deleting all references and indices. Deleting record of deletion. Oh, got me some experience points. That ain't bad. Ooh, more free stuff. See, if I hadn't come back to delete that, I wouldn't have noticed this. Ain't life grand. G give me the... There we go. Maybe I can get more money out of them for, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna barter for the... Releasing the control of the Bolt 52 over to them. That sounds, that sounds like an evil thing to do. Sanjar, I have something you need! And you'll never guess what I need! It starts with an M and rhymes with honey! Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Just give it a minute. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Have the thingy you want. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what I was deleting. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth... My left kidney and what was that last one? I was a joke to them. Ugh, one of the executives required a transplant. Damn. He's lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. So that's why you're bitching at uh, Nayoka about drinking. You, you, you can't drink as much. You literally can't drink as much. No, I am a company man. You're not a kidney man. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I built? Stellar Bay is barely keeping afloat. That's what you get for building your business on, like, the Australia of the universe. Everything here wants to kill you. Please, I, I can't think about this right now. Celia, schedule 30 minutes of inconsolable weeping later today. I'll pad it out with an extra 15, sir. Now. 
<laughs> just was there something else you need? Setting aside time. <laughs> hey Siri, remind me to open up the floodgates later. Oh yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. And your loins. Yeah, you how powerful this is. Corporations have been toppled with less. Both the factions gave me helmets. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. Uh, what? Your concern is most touching, but not to worry. I've been preparing years for this. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. I understood some of those words. What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. Can you stop the broadcast thingy? Help us with this final matter and we won't need to broadcast anymore. You have my word. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Is it Iconoclast? Bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... Encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Perhaps. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay. And I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. So me as Don't a new party. Her. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. I've got nothing to lose. She's not fun scary like you. Just <laughs> scary. Scary. But fun scary. You'll be equipped to handle her. Fun scary versus scary scary. So the Joker versus it, basically. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. I'm up for some kidnap. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. So that was it for that part. Being evil, I, I thought I was bringing them a, you know... A very a weapon of mass destruction. I thought I was bringing them a weapon of mass destruction, but it turns out I was giving them like I don't know, one of those codes to Microsoft Office. It was for documentation. Docu Ellie, documentation. What the fuck, Nyoka? I need a drink. <laughs> you drank it all already. <laughs> She's not even standing up straight. All right, let's go be crazy. Me crazy. Oh, okay, I'll just explain myself while I murder these canids over here. What I've done is I've placed myself about halfway between Stellar Bay and the uh, Amber Heights here. Because I'm, I, I need to I need to make a decision. The decision involves who I'm going to murder. Who I'm going to flip a coin to murder, I should say. They look like they did the, like, perform sit before they died there. So right, halfway between Stellar Bay and uh, Amber Heights because, let me just whip out the map here, yep, see, halfway. Now, as Crazy Keith, I, I make two things, two characters fight each other in Smash Bros in order to determine who I'm going to kill or who gets to live or die. But it's also going to help me, you know, determine factions, like who am I going to side with in a faction. I did it with Adelaide and uh, Thompson, and Thompson had to be murdered, didn't he? Well, I had to side with Adelaide, and therefore Thompson got murdered because later on I was alone with him. So, I've got two decisions here. Because I've got to fill my murder quota here. I will... I, I can... Sorry. I can either... Go meet both of them. Both of them being Sanjar and Graham. 
and kill them in order to stop them broadcasting because you know that is the end result that I need or I can go go meet both of them and perform both of their first faction missions and they both sent me to like we previously found out they, they sent me to meet that uh, delivery lady I forget her name Cor Corla Cor Kelly or something like that started with a C and then we also had to meet Huxley and I can you know flip a coin to see if I murder them it's one of those two so we'll call murdering Sanjar and Graham option one and we'll call going on their missions to meet their two, I don't know, followers or whatever, option two. And I will have a Smash Bros. fight right now to determine what I do. There we go. Just leave it to fate. Be right back. Three, two, one, go! Looks like we're killing the followers. Okay, let's go take on both missions. You know, both of these factions are using airwaves, right, to get their shit across. And they both want to make the switch to magazines. Does it seem to Excuse you like you're going me, backwards? This area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. I wonder if I can threaten him. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right. Carlotta. You'd have to ask the boss. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew! Nice! Mm, gentlemen. Sorry, lady. Mm, gentlemen. Have fun, suckers. Ooh, hello. I didn't go in here last time. Ooh, big ol' hammer. How serendipitous. Extra shit. Alright, let's go see about killing someone. This, this person's a big deal, too. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? I sent them all away. Hello? Yeah, and for the hundredth time, I'm not opening this door. Who are you, anyway? So wait, I'm, what, for the hundredth time I'm not going to open this door, she's saying that to someone who's just asking who she is right now. Oh, for finally, tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. It may very well be. Because I might kill her. Opening the door is risking your neck, lady. Out of here. I don't know how you got those goons to leave. Lies. But thank you. Graham ordered rollers and whatsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Foolish that fool. Now that I have the goods, there's nothing keeping you alive. Oh, I've never actually been introduced it as a thing. I usually like having the, uh, the upper hand, but... Interesting thought. Can I, can I pause? I can pause. Nice. Okay, let's see if she lives or not.
You lucky duck, you get to live. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. The people that were trying to get in I here and murder know. you? Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. I wish I could just what take the money. Delivered? Damn it, I gotta choose one. Eh, let's go with the crazy guy. Yeah, I've got a few. I'll send them along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Alright, I'm gonna raid this place and then we'll go take on the other uh, task. And possibly murder that Huxley lady. I really hope my uh, Captain Olimar Proxy wins this fight. I haven't gotten to murder any innocent people yet. Perfect. Oh, hello? Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can I ask for boots? I'm gonna scare her again. As if the they as if the fucking rats understood what you're saying and wanted to mess with you. Oh, thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Uh Hux if you're lazy. I'm stuck. Not lazy, just crazy. My friends and I were scavenging here and a Mata Queen showed up, then Rathodon, who's a void blasted mess. I ran in here and um now the door's locked. Little help? It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by Raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. If they're the clever girls I think they are, maybe they can uh, use doorknobs. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. Please let me use engineering, because I don't want to go looking around with dead, do dead bodies again. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Wrapped or otherwise. Oh. Come on, engineering. Yes. Wait, upward? Only oh, eternal soul, it worked! Try jiggling the handle. Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. You still might. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Yay, the opportunity to do it within the conversation. All right, who are you going to be? Damn it, I don't get to kill anyone today. I, I, I chose Pichu because there's a certain, like, precious naivety to this lady, so that's how it worked out. Yeah, yeah, just beat it. Yes, sir. I guess that's it. Disappointing, but that's it. One, one of these days, my finger's just gonna slip and shoot someone in the face. In the game, in the game. Thanks for watching. Can I make this jump? Oh, yeah. I am a dirty, autonomous, digital astrogator, Sam. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? Tell me you've seen worse. Ah! Um, we'll continue this later. Is this supposed to be some sort of hot AI on AI action, or...? Ada, are you coming on to my cleaning bot? I'm so confused. 